Hi everybody, on this channel I create videos packed with lots of great information. So if you're interested in learning new things, subscribe to my channel and join the fun. Today I'm going to show you how to delay sending an email message using Microsoft Outlook, both on the desktop application and also on the web-based Outlook 365. Why would you want to delay sending an email? It might be inappropriate to send an email too late into the evening or on the weekend, Personally, I've been getting a lot of email lately from work that is after hours, sometimes late in the evening, and also on the weekend. And I consider that relatively unprofessional. And if I don't want to be treated that way, I'm going to make sure that I treat other people the way that I want to be treated. Because remember, people get email now coming to their phones. So if you send an email real late at night, their phone's going to beep late at night. If you send them an email in the middle of a Sunday afternoon, they might be with their family and with their friends, and they might not want to get that work-related email. So here's how you delay sending an email on Outlook's desktop application. In the top left corner, click on New Email. Then from the menus at the top, go to Options. And you'll see an option all the way over here that says Delay Delivery. Click on that. The delivery options are down here. And you're going to want to make sure that you have a check mark where it says do not deliver before. And then you have an option to stick in a date and a time. So that I can demonstrate this for you right now, I'm going to make sure that I send this email about 10 minutes from right now. Right now at 6.05 p.m. So this is today's date and I'm going to put in 6.10 p.m. So this email should not be sent until about 5 minutes from now. I'm going to go ahead and click close. I'm going to address the email to myself. And in the subject line, I'm going to put delayed until 6.10. And this is just a test message, delayed until 6.10. And then I'm going to send it. Now here's my inbox. I usually get my messages pretty darn quickly, and you can see it has not popped up yet. So just to show you that I do get my messages pretty quickly, let's go ahead and create another email to myself, which we will send immediately. And it's just a test. Click send, and I should get it popping up in my inbox. There it is right now. So we know that my email is working and we know that I get messages pretty quickly. So we should be expecting now that delayed message to arrive in my inbox somewhere around 610. Here's a clock. Let's see what happens. It's now 610. We should get that message sometime within the next minute or so. And there it is. So it finally came at about 6.11. So it worked out pretty well. Let me show you how to do the same thing on the web-based version of Outlook, typically known as Office 365. I'm already logged into my email. I'm going to click on New Message. I can address that message, add a subject. And then here's the key thing, where it says Send. Instead of just clicking Send, click on the down arrow you'll see two options, one for send, which is really send now, and one for send later. That's what you want, so go ahead and click that. At this point, just like before, you can select the date, and you can also select the time for delivery. I'll say 620, and then go ahead and click send. It's that easy. So please be kind and respectful and professional to your friends, your family, and your colleagues, and try to send them email only during times when it's appropriate. If you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.